for any specifics. He did say he would offer more details in the coming weeks. Now that Thanksgiving is upon us, it's acceptable to start putting up those holiday lights, but you might want to stop and think about what that will do to your energy bill. As our Katie Eastman explains, the woman you're about to meet is probably paying more than you. And that has all twinkling lights, all the animals have lights. There's Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen, Hermie, Rudolph, the Abominable Snowman, and a chicken? They've got their scarves and their hats on, I guess. So they'll be fine in the North. They're fine. They're fine. This is Shelly Plasky's North Pole, where everything, even the chickens, light up. Everything needs to have lights. With decorations like this from Thanksgiving to New Year's, you can bet her electric bill is big. It's too much. It's been at least $600 during the holiday months for more than a decade. We just have a, a lot of fun doing it, and we enjoy, we enjoy uh, you know, all the people passing by and, and getting a, a lot of fun out of it. But most people aren't like Shelly. A few lights around the tree, and a couple blow-up decorations will do. This is reading $3.17 a month. National Grid's Patrick Stella wants you to know these are not his decorations. It's not my thing. <laughs> but if they were, he'd pay about $6 a month for both of them. 43 cents a month for this string of lights and only 18 cents a month for this string. LEDs are incredibly um, more efficient. Those light up as well. Back at yeah. Shelley's, where a couple of blow-ups are just the beginning, she's hoping this year's costs will be lower. It's definitely going to help us with our electric bill. Because there's an addition to the roof that might make Rudolph's job more difficult. We have new solar panels. She hopes to save about $100 this holiday season. That's enough to pay the electric bill for 30 more blow-up ornaments. Maybe Shelly will be interested in these ones, too. Katie Eastman, Time Warner Cable News.